Hello everybody, some of you may know me. My name is Amanda and I am the Director of Communications for Matcha Resident. I know that it is very stressful to be in the middle of interview season, to be in the post application period, and not really know what you can do to increase your chances. So that's what I'm here to do today, help you out to figure out how you can alleviate some of that stress during this time. In this video, we are going to cover the fact that now you've applied, on September 28th, the applications have gone out. You may feel like, what do I do now? How do I increase my chances at an interview? What tasks do I need to be aware of? And what dates do I need to be prepared for? We will go through all of that in this video. First thing that you should be aware of is that you can update your personal statement after applying. Not many candidates realize this, but even after you've sent your application to a program, you can update the statement that you sent them as long as it is not after their specific program deadline has passed. Now, it is important to know that if they have already viewed your application, they may not see this update, but if you have maybe not received many interview invites or you've decided that you want to apply to more specialties, you can update that personal statement in ERAS. You also want to be starting to craft and send your letters of interest. Now that we are in mid-October, programs have been reviewing applications and they have been sending out interview invites. You want to make sure that for each program you are strongly interested in, especially the ones that you sent a program signal to, that you have crafted a specific letter of interest for that program. You are including specific details about why you are interested in that program, why you think you would be a good fit, the skills and experience that you would bring, and just wrap it up again with really strongly saying why you'd be interested. If you sent the program signal, you can address that. If you chose your geographic region as preferred, you can also s say something about that in this letter of interest, just to further highlight those things about why you want that program. When you send this, you can send them directly to the program director through email, and you want to make sure that you're including your AAMC ID, and you can also attach your CV for reference and your professional picture that you use in ERAS, just so they can clearly see, oh, that's who this candidate is, this is what they're bringing to the table. You also want to make sure now that you are beginning with interview prep if you have not already started. It is very important that you are making sure to run through these different questions, you're making sure to prepare with a friend, and you might even want to use a service to make sure that you really know what to expect, you're polished in your answers, and you feel confident in everything that you're going through in this process. Match a Resident does offer an interview preparation service that includes both basic or premium access. Basic access includes self-paced learning with three and a half hours of video lessons covering best practices for answering all of the common questions and 24 supplementary written lessons. It also includes residency interview practice tool to conduct mock interviews, record yourself, and measure your progress. Lastly, it offers an AI feedback tool to get immediate input on your presentation style, including ums and ohs, vocabulary and more, and advice on what to work on. So this is really going to track when you have those pauses, when you're saying, um, when you're not sure, just to make sure that all of your answers are completely confident and clear when you go into an interview. The premium includes, you also get up to 12 regularly scheduled group coaching, coaching lessons and virtual office hours with top interview coach, Pamela Skillings. This is very important because this means that you will actually get one-on-one -on -one time with her to be able to discuss the things that you want to work on, to talk about the things that you might be struggling with, and to get real helpful tips on how to be better with your interviews. New with this season, we are also offering premium members the opportunity to submit three recorded answers to Pam for detailed feedback and advice. This means not only do you get to have one-on-one -on -one time with the interview coach, but you get to practice your interview answers, maybe the most ones that you're struggling with, maybe the most common ones, and send that into her so that she can hear and give you feedback on tasks that you should work with and how to further improve your chances. Finally, the last thing that you really should be considering as you're finishing your interviews is your rank order list, because this is going to be decided based on how those interviews went, how you feel about the program itself. Do you think you have a likelihood of matching there that you should rank them highly? If you're having issues with understanding 
how to craft your rank order list, you can use Match Your Residence free rank assist tool that helps you decide the order of your list based on rating of various important factors. And you want to do this as you're conducting interviews because it's still fresh in your mind. So after you complete your interview, you want to go and rank each part of it and take any interview notes down, anything that you remember, anything that stood out to you, because that's going to help you craft your thank you notes. And eventually down the line, once you've decided your rank order list, you're going to be sending your letters of intent. So you want to make sure that you have all of this information together, you feel confident, and you're recording it while it's still fresh in your mind. The rank order list will open on February 1st. So you do have some time. I don't want you to think that this needs to be decided right away. It's more just to start thinking about it and to make sure that you are keeping track of the important aspects about each program. And you will submit this on February 28th. That will be February 28th, 2024. You won't be able to change it after that. So once it opens on February 1st, you can put it in. You can start deciding which programs you want in which spot. But once you submit that on February 28th, it is locked and you won't be able to change it. So make sure that you take advantage of the free rank assist tool from Match a Resident because this will allow you to really be sure and confident in the selection of your rank order list. Please feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions or you need help with your letters of interest, interview prep, anything that we can do to make this period more easy on you. Thank you and good luck.